Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Ruchah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the heavenly father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God or Jehovah, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his own begotten son, the savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So uh, this is just a uh, article, all right, uh, um, I came across coming from the Daily uh, Mail, uh, which came out uh, yesterday, which was uh, Salakia, came out two days ago, November 29th, 2020, and it was updated yesterday. It says, first COVID vaccine could get UK approval within days as government, as government bid to recruit celebrities and social media stars to counter anti-vaxxers theories online. And there was another article that came out a couple uh, weeks ago, maybe a week or two ago, that said that the uh, Labour Party over there in the UK, they want to um, actually make it uh, um, uh, illegal to speak against taking the vaccine. All right. And, and, and or, or should I say they want to uh, penalize social media um, platforms for allowing anti-maxine uh, um, anti uh, uh, content on their websites, which we know that that means that this word, because this is a very, very hot topic right now, all right, uh, in the midst of prophecy. So that means that if that actually goes forth, you know, and, and, and that spreads throughout you know, uh, different countries, which it will, that a lot of our content, a lot of our videos are not going to be able to, um, you know, be put up on these social media platforms. Because like I said, you know, uh, uh, the time that we're in where a lot of, a lot of brothers are doing videos speaking about, and, you know, speaking about the vaccination, all right. And speaking about, you know, uh, uh, uh the forcible, or, uh, or what the government is now calling it, the motivational way to get people to take the vaccine. So <clears throat> here you also have, which, you know, I remember years and years ago, you know, <laughs> brothers used to always say uh, uh, that they're going to get you know, your, your, your LeBron James, your, your Jay-Z's, your, uh, your Kanye West's. I knew that was going to happen. So like, yeah. Your Kanye West's, you know, your your Beyonce's, all your celebrities, okay, your your uh, Tom Brady's, to uh, be the ones to promote that uh, chip, and this is exactly what they're doing, or what they plan on doing with this um, with this potion, all right, with this uh, with this jab that they want to try to get everybody to take, <clears throat> and of course <laughs> we're gonna read it, but of course they use, you know. Uh, Jake celebrities, man, which is why we you know we always say, man, that that you you Israelites that are you know in the spotlight, okay, which they call themselves, are they called public figures, you know? And I always thought that terminology was was uh, funny because you being a public figure, you legit mean means that you legit are owned by the public, you're owned by the people, you know, and your handler. Which is these uh, uh the 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 elites of this world, the ones that you know gave you your fame, gave you your stardom, they basically are allowed uh, uh have the a capability of telling you what what uh, uh information you are going to put out there, what type of vibration you're going to put out there. You know, for instance, the thing that happened with Nick Cannon back in the summertime, where he came out and said that you know uh, uh I believe he said the Holocaust. Um, no, he said that, 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 um, we, we were the true Israelites. All right. And then what happened because he's a public figure and because ultimately he loves the riches of this world. All right. Uh, um, more than he, you know, he loved the truth. He, he came back and retracted his statement, you know, same thing happened with Deshaun Jackson. Uh, you know, um, what's the other guy named, uh, um, Kodak Black. Okay. Um, 
You also had uh, Kendrick Lamar come out. But they say these things and then you, you never hear from them, you know, saying things like that again. Because ultimately, they, and I'm not saying every single celebrity is, uh, you know, uh, uh, will be destroyed. But majority of them, you know, basically they, they made their bet. You know, they made their decision. All right. They sold their soul, as Yahweh Shai said. But let's get this. It says TV doctors will be enlisted as well as figures with large social media followings. No celebrities confirmed yet, but officials suggested footballer Marcus Rashford. Survey found willingness to take vac uh, vaccine fell by 6.4% after reading anti-vax posts. Celebrities and social media influencers will be enlisted to help promote the coronavirus vaccine amid rising concerns over the spread of conspiracy theories online. And once again, that con rising concern over the spread is going to be a, a catalyst for these, uh, uh, you know, governments, you know, and, and, and you know, all we're going all the way up to these elites to, you know, um, stop the stop this gospel from being preached because that is also prophesied that there will be a famine of the word, and they look at us as, you know, they label us as uh, conspiracy theories, uh, theorists, you know, extremists, you know, all these different labels, man, but. We're just spreading the gospel. We're spreading the truth. But in a world of lies, the truth is extreme. So it says health bosses and ministers are in talks with, res quote, responsible, <laughs> high profile stars to post positive messages about the jab. And like I said, man, you know, brothers, you know, the prophets have been warning that this was going to happen years, years ago. You know, when I first came into the truth, the, uh, uh, I heard men saying these things, man, that you you were going to have your celebrities and your pastors, okay, your uh, uh, social influencers be used to entice the population, entice the masses to, you know, take that chip, to, to basically adhere to the government's authority, okay? And this is, and this is going, once again, going down that path, man. So it says, no celebrities have been confirmed. And why do you think... They, these celebrities these celebrities get paid so much for what they do. You know, all they're doing, you know, shooting the basketball in the hoop, you know, kicking a soccer ball in the goal, all right, uh, throwing a football, okay? They get paid to, to promote clothing, all right, uh, uh, you know, social media, what they call social media influencers. They get paid to, to post certain things. They're not, they're not really contributing to society, but why do you think... They are so, you know, uh, famous because Esau did that. So for for the time like this right now, because they have such an influence, because they have such a following, because people idolize. And that's the problem with the masses of these of, of people, especially you Israelites, people idolize other people. And that's the and that right there, you know, is, is there going to be the downfall of a lot of uh, uh, people, man. OK, Idol, uh, idolatry. Which is one of the you know a uh, uh, grave graven uh, sins, man. Okay, idolatry is a sin worthy of death. But it says because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai says what thou shall have the first out of the ten commandments is what thou shall have no other uh, god before before me. Thou shall put no other god before me. And people made Jay Z a god. People made Beyonce a god. Okay. They made all these different celebrities and, and rappers and artists and actors gods in their eyes. So they gave them power. So when that when that in, when that individual, that man or that woman that says something, because people idolize them to a point where they have get call them call them a god or call them you know see them having some power. Whenever it comes out of their mouth, they're going to uh, accept it. They're going to you know believe it. And that way, right, that that is going to lead them into, you know, ultimately worshiping that beast, man, because these celebrities are going to tell you people to worship the beast. You just had Lupe Fiasco come out and say, what, that that 666 is not the um, is not the chip, it's not the microchip. It's no coincidence, man. All right. It says now no celebrities have been confirmed, but officials suggest Marcus Rashford, the England footballer, campaigning to end child hunger and members of the royal family would be ideal. <laughs> All right, says, um, and this is this is that guy right here. And what is he? 
all right, appears to be a Jake. And I'll, I'll go out on the limb and say he is an Israelite, you know? He is an Israelite because these, these devils know, you know, uh, uh, that Jake is very um, influential, okay? Because we, we were created to be the salt of the earth. We are the salt of the earth, all right? We are we are the uh, uh, the greatest people on the earth, which is why, you know, our people are so talented. But Esau uses used that talented, gave Jake, all right, an opportunity to be rich and famous, and now this devil's coming to collect on on what he gave you, man. You know, he coming he's coming to collect on the uh, the ability for you to be able to be some great thing in his in his world. Now you gotta now you gotta uh do what he says. And that's why the scriptures talks about um selling your soul. Let me get that real quick. Because I have the scripture here, but I'll come I'll come back to that. Matthew uh, 15 and 14. Let's get this in um, I believe it's Mark. Mark chapter 8, verse um 34 it says, and when he called upon and when he called the people unto him with his disciples. He said unto them, whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And that's the thing about these celebrities. All right. Because a lot of celebrities, they know about the, the uh, being an Israelite. They know the name of the Lord, the name of, of, of the Heavenly Father, the name of the Son. They even know what tribe they from or what tribe they believe they from. But the thing is, they don't want to deny themselves. OK, because denying themselves means denying that fame. Denying that stardom, denying that celebrity status, den denying all that money, okay, being being ostracized, and that's why being a disciple of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai comes with sacrifice, just like Yahweh Shai sacrifice. Scripture says that the the master, the servant, is not greater than the master. If they hated me, they should also hate you, okay. But we have we have been fully persuaded in our minds, so we are willing to deny ourselves, take up our cross, meaning the burden of being, you know, uh, uh, in this in this uh, world as a believer of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and we're following Yahweh Shai wherever so wherever, he, wherever so wherever he goes, with whithsoever he goes, man, and that's you know where it talks about the hundred and forty four thousand, they they have not been defiled, okay, with women, and they follow the lamb whether he goes. But these uh, these a lot of these celebrities ain't gonna do that, man. They gonna follow they gonna follow their daddy, man. Okay, as Yahweh said in the book of John, eighth chapter, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of his heart ye shall also do. So it says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, shall, the same shall save it. And this and and, and, and and these people, these celebrities, like I said, not every single one of them. I'm not condemning every single uh, celebrity, but as Yahweh Shai said, which we'll get the words of, of Yahweh Shai. Uh, in the book of Luke, chapter 6. Luke, chapter 6, verse uh, 24. But woe unto you that are rich. For ye have received your constellation. All right? So they already received their constellation. Yahweh also said what? It is uh it is easier for the needle for a camel to go through the needle of the eye, uh, needle of the eye, than for a rich man to uh enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because they already got what they wanted in this life, man. They already their 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 desires, which are of the flesh, okay, are fulfilled in this life. Our desires are not fulfilled in, in this life. We are looking for the uh, for the continuing city and uh, to come, not here, man. Which is why you would never really you never really see a, a a a celebrity, a famous person, come out and say, "Oh, oh they want you know Babylon to be destroyed. They want you know the uh, Yahweh Shah to reign on the earth. They want the 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 kingdom of heaven. They want these heathens to be in captivity. Okay, they want they want revenge for the iniquities, you know, for the atrocities of our people." They wouldn't really say that because they'd receive what in their hearts, in their minds, what they already, what they really want, which is that fame and that status, which we want that too. Let's not get that twisted, okay? Because that's also a part of the reward of being uh, uh, um, 
of sacrificing, of being a disciple of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But we want it in righteousness, man. And the Lord said he's going to give us a fame and a praise in every land that we've been put to shame. You, you see? So we're going to get that in, on even in, in, and even on a greater level without having to sell our souls. Actually, let me get that because I didn't read that part. Without actually having to sell our souls. All right? And uh, through righteousness. And we're going to have it for... Uh, uh, um, for all eternity, man. And it's going to be a corrupt, uh, incorruptible crown. So it says, verse 36, for, for what shall a for Salaki, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world? All right. Being a being a public figure, being a, a celebrity, going everywhere, and everybody knows your name. You know, getting the Lamborghinis and the Porsches and the, the 20,000 square foot houses. All right, having all the women, you know, uh you you can desire or you want, all right. Having everybody want to be like you or everybody want to be with you. But what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give give exchange for his soul? Because now it's time for that exchange. Remember, it ain't nothing free, man. This devil ain't, ain't giving nothing out for free. Yeah, you might have talent, but you had you to sell out to get that talent. You had a, 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 you, you're going to have to show you know not to sell out to get that talent i should say you had to sell out to use that talent and get and get recognition for that talent which is why a lot of these big time celebrities they throw up the the, the illuminati signs all right they throw up the the pyramid all right or you know they cover one eye they showing their allegiance to the god of this world okay because just like how you know if you talk against them just like how what happened with um uh, 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 Larry Johnson, which was a football player, you know, you, he, he, uh, actually brings out truth, uh, uncut, you know, unfiltered and what happened? He's getting labeled as being mentally ill. All right. Being labeled as a weirdo, uh, you know, uh, a, uh, somebody who's just, you know, just bugged out of his mind. This devil, <laughs> he'll, he'll destroy you, man. You know, he'll destroy your character, but it, to us, we already gave, we already lost our, our, our self, uh, you know, we already denied ourselves. So you can't do that to us, man. Or, you know, to the true faithful of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You can't, you can't destroy, you know, he's going to try to, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, slander us, destroy our character. But once again, we hate our lives until the death, man. And we were already willing to lose our life for the, for the namesake of Yahweh Shai and the gospel. So going on, it says, um. There are fears that the tor that the torrent of anti-vax uh, content on social media sites could lead to a low take up of the vaccine, affecting the chances of achieving herd immunity. A recent survey in the U.S. and the U.K. found that public willingness to take a COVID vaccine fell by 6.4 percent after reading anti-vax posts under the plans under the plan. So these devil had this planned out. And once again. We've been saying this plan before they even came out with the plan. That's how you know that the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is working, man. Okay? Through the through the Holy Spirit. It's working through the prophets. The Lord always said, What? He sure if his seek, he would not do nothing, but he but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets, man. We already knew through the spirit of the Lord that they were going to do the that they had these plans in place. Come on, man. But nah, but 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 we just, you know, we don't got the truth. Get the hell out of here with that shit, man. The Lord is expressly uh, speaking, man. All right? The Spirit is expressly spe uh, speaking. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. It says, under the plans, well-known television doctors, your Dr. Oz's and then, you know, whoever the other doctors you got out there, you know, uh, uh, as the scripture tells you, they're physicians of no value. It says, uh, will be enlisted. As well as figures with large following on social media, the Guardian reported. So there you got, there you go. But but ultimately, that's that's just only going to just entrap the blind man. That's only going to just entrap the ones who are not meant to get it. All right. But we are warning. We we still have to give the warning out. Okay, because you do have some people that are still you know in that in that that uh that uh, uh dark. You know, blinded. Uh, um, you still have some of the elect that that are blinded that needs to be woken up. So we still got to do. We still have a job to do, which is why the Lord still still allows us 
to teach this word and let this word to go, uh, let this word go out. Matthew 15, verse 14. I'll start at 13. But he answered and said, and said, every plant which my father hath planted shall, shall be rooted up. Actually, I'm hold on. I think there's a little bit more in this. It should be. Because they have mentioned. Um, they even mentioned uh, religious leaders. Oh, here we go. So like, let me get right here. It says religious and community leaders are also being consulted in order to ally, allay possible fears over the vaccine vaccine among black asian and ethnic communities so they're telling you who they're targeting man they just threw the asians in there you know for for whatever purpose but do you know who this really is about man what is it what is it called uh uh uh, uh vax the blacks that's a that's a whole um you know propaganda they got out there just like how they have with the whole voting thing that voting i have never seen so much well, they do it every every four years, but this year, I guess because social media is such a big uh, uh, has been such a played a big role. I've never seen so many celebrities and and you know, uh, you know, entice try to entice the population, especially so called black celebrities or Israelite celebrities, try to entice the uh, population to go vote, the Israelite community to go vote, man. So how much more with this? They said relig re religious and community leaders. Because why do you think the 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 the, the uh, these churches got that uh, tax exempt man? We said that also. They are gonna use your pastors, your your spirit, quote unquote spiritual leaders, to be on the forefront well, along with these celebrities. They might even have a celebrity come to your church. Your your, your church, <laughs> your pastor gonna be like, oh, you know, today we got a special guest in the house that want to say a few words about this vaccination that these anti vaccinators out here that these crazy celebrity crazy you know because conspiracy theorists extremists yeah i know who they are they be out there on on the streets with those fringes on and those garments talking about don't take the chip don't take the vaccine well you know we got a call from a very beloved beyonce and she wants to say a few words about the vaccination and then and you know them, them country coons them pork chop eating uh, uh 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 israelites man okay they just gonna eat it all up man they're gonna eat it all up and who and who was pulling the strings behind all this esau eat them man so it says the government refused to provide details but a source said officials are working closely with public health uh public health england and nhs england in improvement to quote pro, to provide authoritative information to the public, so that's what they want, man. They want that complete totalitarian authoritative information to go out, and if they continuously see the the, the, the prophets constantly pushing out videos daily, daily, multiple times a day, speaking, you know, casting down these strongholds, what are they going to do? They can't ignore it anymore, man. They're going to have to t directly. Uh, demonize us and persecute us and at the same time use their platforms to promote this witchcraft this sorcery this idolatry this beast worship to the masses of the people man it says the army the army has already mobilized an information warfare uh, warfare unit to uh fight the anti-max propaganda so they already know what it is man they're armed they're, they're, this devil is coming OK, they don't they don't use this this type of verbiage, you know, by mistake. All right. That's why. Hey, but, but Paul said what? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. All right. But mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. So that's it on that article. Let's get a couple, uh, a couple of scriptures. Matthews 15, verse four, uh, 13. But he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father has planted shall be rooted up. Asalakia, every plant which my heavenly father has not planted shall be rooted up, okay? So your, your, your pastors, your celebrities, none of that is going to, at the end, none of that is going to uh, uh, stand, man. Only the words of and, and the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to stand. But these things on the left-hand side are necessary. Why? Verse 14, let them alone. 
they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So, hey, as, as the scripture says, he that is ignorant, let him be ignorant still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. So the ones who ain't going to get it, well, it wasn't meant for you to get. So we're going to leave you alone. We're not going to run up in a, 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 a church, you know, and, and say, no, you're lying. Don't, don't listen to them. Nah, man. Okay. The Lord said no man can pluck his elect out of his hand. All right. No man can pluck the elect that the heavenly father gave unto Yahweh Shai out of his hand, man. The ones who are supposed to get it and understand it and wake up and see, they're going to do it, man. We just got to give the word. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gives the increase, man. All right. We just give the word. The Lord gives the increase. The spirit is going to is going to move whoever it needs to move. But they'll be blind leaders of the blind. So these celebrities, they're blinded. And they're going to lead the blind into that ditch, into that destruction. All right. So let me end it out with this last scripture in the book of, uh, what is that? Second Corinthians 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse um, 1. It says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry, and we do have this ministry, and ministry means uh, service. All right. And this is a service that we are providing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai unto the sheep of Yahweh Shai, man. All right. The great shepherd. It says, we have, we have, uh, we, so like as we have received mercy, we fade not because it is mercy that the Lord gave us this knowledge and gave us the spirit to prophesy. That's why it says, make your body a living sacrifice. All right. Uh, uh, which is our reasonable service. It says, we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. So no matter what, we're going to continue to preach this word in this fullness and in, in, in sincerity and in truth. We're not going to water it down. We're not going to sugarcoat it because we we don't, you know, uh, we're being ostracized or we're being looked at, you know, a certain way. No, we're not going to trim our, our ways to seek love, man. Not walking in craftiness as this devil does, all right, using social influencers to promote their wicked agenda. Okay, that's crafty right there. Why won't you just have Jacob Rothschild come out and say it? Why are you not going to just have, you know, the Queen of Elizabeth come out and say it, man? All right? Of the Rockefellers, have them come out and say it. Why you got to use, you know, the celebrities, you know, the, the influencers, of, especially of the Israelite community? It's a, and, and, that, and you, and a lot of you, and you, Jakes, that, that take heed, that join hand to hand with this devil, man, hey, you got to have a heavy, heavy destruction to pay, man. All right? It tells you that, man, though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Every one of them that is found joined unto them shall be thrust through. Lord going to destroy you, 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 you Israelite devils, man. It says, nor handling the word of the Most High deceitfully, you pastors, okay? Handling the word of God, calling yourself a man of the Lord, all right? The Lord of, the Lord of flies, man. You, you're the man of ba Baalzebub. That's who you are, Okay? Because you're going to lead a lot of our people into taking that chip too. And this devil knows it. That's why he's going to employ you to do so. It says, but by the manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, the blind. So the ones of you that don't get it, then it's just not meant for you to get it, man. It says, in whom the God of this world, Esau, has blinded the minds of them using so his every avenue and every... Every person that he has, you know, uh, uh, that he that he that he has uh, capable to use. Once again, understand that this is the path, man. They are gonna have your 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 famous, your most loving celebrity, the person that you just got on your wall and you idolize so much. They are gonna come out and tell you to take this, take that, do this, listen to that, and it's gonna blind the minds of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of of Yahweh, should shine on should shine onto them. So you know with that, hey, call Yahweh Bashim El Shai Bashim Rakakudash Wa Bapa Ball Shalom.